ServiceNow is one of the hottest up and coming enterprise technologies in the marketplace. But what is ServiceNow and is it the right fit for you as an organization? That's what I'm gonna talk about here today. My name is Eric Kimberling. I'm the CEO of Third Stage Consulting. We're an independent consulting firm that helps clients throughout the world reach their third stages of digital transformation success. And ServiceNow is one of the hottest technology companies in the enterprise space. You may know them because the former CEO of SAP is now the CEO of ServiceNow. And he's the guy, if you don't recall, he's the guy that wears the sunglasses all the time and hangs out with Bono and other celebrities. But that's maybe the way you know ServiceNow. But ServiceNow is actually a very viable enterprise technology. And it's a really interesting one too, because it fills a really narrow niche and a very unique need and unmet demand in the marketplace. And for some organizations, ServiceNow can be a great fit. For others, it may not be the right fit for what you're looking for. So what I want to do today is talk a little bit first about what is ServiceNow, and then I'll talk about the pros and cons of the solution as well. And before I get to that, though, it's important to note that we are not affiliated with ServiceNow. Neither my company, Third Stage, nor myself are affiliated. We receive no commission from the vendor. We have no affiliation with ServiceNow or any other software vendor for that matter. So this is meant to be a very independent, objective review of ServiceNow. So first, it helps understand what exactly ServiceNow is, and this may help you decide whether or not it's worth considering. ServiceNow is not your typical or traditional enterprise technology in that it doesn't fit neatly into a box. It doesn't fit into the ERP category. It doesn't fit into CRM. It certainly doesn't fit into HCM or business intelligence or any of those. But it does have bits and pieces of all those different types of technologies. And for some types of organizations, it can fit a very important need and niche within the organizations. So the best way to think about ServiceNow is that it is a platform and it's a workflow tool. So unlike ERP systems and other back office sorts of systems that are focused on consolidating data and capturing data and providing reports and that sort of thing, this is more of a customer and employee facing technology that's meant to automate the workflows as it relates to customers and employees. So some examples of where ServiceNow is commonly used would be, for example, for IT help desks. You can use it as a ticketing system where if a internal customer contacts you and says they have a problem or they need something fixed, you can track that ticket and it goes through a series of workflows within ServiceNow. You can also use it to track customer complaints or customer inquiries. So if you have a high volume contact center or a customer service center, ServiceNow is oftentimes used in those scenarios. It can also be used to track workflows with employees. So if you have a new hire that needs to go through an onboarding process, or if you have an employee who needs to request approval for the acquisition of certain assets or other procurement needs, ServiceNow can be used to track some of those workflows and the approval processes that go along with that. So you can see just from that general description that it's not a financial system, it's not an inventory management system, it's not a CRM or a sales system, it's not a business intelligence tool, but it does bits and pieces of all that stuff as well as the core workflows that it handles. Now, some of the industries where ServiceNow is most commonly used would be industries like telco, energy and utilities, where there's a high volume of customers that are interacting with the company every day or with the customer service center. IT departments or organizations that have large IT departments are more likely to use ServiceNow. Certainly software development and tech companies are likely to use it because it allows them to track some of the workflows associated with software development. And it's also used quite a bit in government and education as well. So some of the functional strengths of ServiceNow include a number of things. First of all, it's easy to use. A lot of what we found with clients that use it is that the ease of use, the ease of configuring and setting up different sorts of workflows is relatively easy, especially when you compare it to some of the modern SaaS or cloud-based ERP systems that are a bit more rigid. ServiceNow actually gives you a lot of flexibility in how you establish those workflows that some ERP systems can't handle well. It also allows you to set up process flows and process alerts and assign those process flows to different people. So you can really track the process, not just the workflow itself, but who's responsible for the next step in the process. It creates the alerts that go along with that, really automates and streamlines some of those processes that organizations need, especially when dealing with high volume environments such as customer contacts or customer complaints. It also has visual task boards that represent or look like Kanban sorts of boards. So if you're in a manufacturing environment or if you're trained in Kanban sorts of concepts, ServiceNow provides that capability. 
And then another really cool thing about ServiceNow that most ERP and enterprise technologies don't have is a process mining capability. Even though it's not a process mining tool, it has a lot of capabilities that oftentimes require a separate process mining tool. And what process mining does is that it visualizes and tracks how processes are actually working within the system, where the bottlenecks are, what the volumes are, what the variations and exceptions to that process are. And it really gives you good visibility into how your processes are actually working. So this can be extremely effective in terms of really optimizing your business processes and making sure you're as efficient as possible, removing the bottlenecks and being as effective as possible. Now, for more information about process mining and what that is, I've actually included a link to a video that talks about what is process mining, and that'll give you a little bit more insight into what that tool is. But that's just one of many capabilities that ServiceNow provides and one of the many strengths that it provides its customers. Now, as far as weaknesses, there's a few on the functional side. First and foremost, it's not an ERP system. So as I mentioned before, it's not going to provide accounting and GL capabilities. It's not going to be a full-blown inventory management or warehouse management or supply chain or manufacturing sort of management tool. It's meant to track general processes and workflows. And generally, you're going to need to tie ServiceNow into other products or other systems to create a complete solution for your entire organization. That may not be a deal breaker for you, but it does require a certain amount of technical sophistication to be able to manage that integration. Now, having said that, and I'll get to this a little bit later, but it is more of a platform that's meant to be integrated with other tools. So it is a bit easier than other solutions in the marketplace to integrate with third-party tools, but it is something to be aware of. In addition, one of the other weaknesses from a functional perspective is that some of the business intelligence and reporting capabilities are less desirable than some of the other systems in the market. So in terms of getting good graphs and good visuals as to what's happening in the system, that can be a bit challenging in some cases. And then finally, setting up some of these business processes and workflows, even though they're very flexible and it provides a lot of different options, it can be a bit complex. So for some organizations, it's overkill or it's a lot of complexity that it introduces to the organization. So you really have to think about, do you have the right internal IT capabilities to manage this sort of solution? And if not, maybe there's other solutions in the marketplace that are better fits for you. So some of the technical strengths of ServiceNow include the fact that, as I mentioned before, it is a platform. It's meant to tie to and integrate with other systems. So even though it has its core competencies, its core workflow management and the customer experience type of capabilities it provides, it also recognizes in many ways that it isn't trying to be everything to everyone and it's not going to provide you a complete enterprise-wide solution, meaning that you're probably going to have to tie it back to your ERP system, maybe your human capital management system, maybe even your procurement system. There's other systems you'll want to tie this system to. So that's one of the strengths is that it is designed and the architecture is built to integrate with other third-party systems. And in addition, another advantage from a technical perspective is that it's highly customizable. So it's one of the more flexible products in the workplace. In fact, it at one point was in our top 10 enterprise-wide ERP systems. Even though it's not an ERP system, it did make our top 10, I believe in 2021, because it is such a flexible system. It provides a lot of customization options that other ERP systems don't have. So that's something to keep in mind as well as it is very flexible. It's focused on creating workflows that fit your organization. And so if workflows especially in a high volume setting is important to you, then from a technical perspective, ServiceNow can be a great fit. So some of the technical weaknesses of the product include the fact that many have found that from a technical perspective, it's complex to set up and to configure. It takes time to do. It's not as easy to set up as some of the other systems in the marketplace, which in some ways is to be expected because it can do so much and because it's so flexible that translates to a certain amount of complexity that some may not be comfortable with. In addition, as the software is frequently being updated, we found through our customer base that there's oftentimes downtimes and disruptions when there's new patches or new capabilities introduced to the system. So that creates difficulty for organizations oftentimes and disruptions to their use of the product when there's upgrades to the solution. And finally, we found that some of the performance at times can be slow with ServiceNow when you compare it to other systems. I don't know how much of that has to do with the software itself versus the infrastructure of the organizations that are trying to use it, but that seems to be something we see more often with ServiceNow than other systems in the marketplace. So I hope this has given you a balanced view of some of the pros and cons of ServiceNow. 
And for more information about this product, as well as other enterprise technologies, both similar to ServiceNow, as well as other types of technologies like ERP systems and human capital management, supply chain, financial systems, et cetera, I encourage you to download our annual digital transformation report, which includes a number of independent reviews and rankings like this one, and it'll help you navigate and understand some of the pros and cons of the different technologies available to you in the marketplace. So I encourage you to download that. I included a link below so you can access that off of our website. I've also included a number of links to other resources that are meant to help you through your digital transformation journey. So I encourage you to check that out below. So I hope you found this information useful and hope you have a great day.